Well, people, I figure we give everybody a little bit of a plant update, a little overview of what we do throughout the week here. Cade, what do you got there? Do you know what that is? Meter. Yeah, if you watched old Chad News video, I might even link his. He had a great video of, of like all, a really in-depth EC meter, how to water your plants. It was great. We've been doing the same thing throughout the year. Uh, trying to get the biggest pumpkin possible, right, bud? Yep. And the EC meter just gives us a little bit of a idea of how much fertilizer is in the soil. So it's electrical conductivity. I like to get mine up to closer around the one, but it's hard. You got to really pump the fertilizer to it. So as we're taking the video here, I'm going to give you a little plant overview. We'll kind of look at that. I'm going to show you this one here, the 2261. As you can see, it's growing. It's 40 days old today. Um, doing dang well. I like where it's at. And Cade, you're just going to go through and you're going to yell out some uh, little soil EC readings as we do this. So, Cade, why don't you head up over this way and I will head over here. So, first thing we'll do, we'll look through the plant, plant health. I will give this one an A. We got the pumpkin here. We got its side vine coming right here, going up that way. I have it terminated. That's the one that is not right next to the pumpkin, but one right there. So it's pretty close. All of this is the third stage growth, the tertiaries. Okay, go ahead. You can just take the meters as we're going. So he's going to yell out some numbers to us. And I got one tertiary coming there. And then we got a couple of actually four stage growth. 2.2. 2. 2. 2. That's a high reading. So in front of the pumpkin, we might not need to fertilize too much might be a little hot so we got it over here we got this vine here that is coming off of there and it's coming back here so that's the tertiary or the sec secondary coming off of there it kind of slowed down so I'm assuming that some of this is not quite as hot as what it is over here so 0.54 he must have found a hot spot so uh, this is all the third stage growth right there. Um, right here is this third stage growth, and right there is this third stage growth, and it really slowed up. The pumpkin took a lot of it, so I actually upped the fertilizer, and I can Four section stages. it off. Now, okay, it's moved over here. Okay, go ahead and grab that meter. So I'm assuming that some of this EC is a little bit lower on this side. So I, like I said, I, I section them all up. So here's one section of fertilization, one in the middle and one on the end. So what do you get there, Cade? What is 1. How much? 1.3. 1.3, so it's pretty high there. He found a 0.18. Right so there is like, I've upped the fertilizer in this area. So I think I probably need to just let it kind of cool down a little yeah, bit. It, it's like, oh, it's spread out for sure, so where the plant growth is, it's about good. So, anyways, okay, now we're about ready to enter the 2356. Kate has to wade through the sea of leaves very carefully. Once again, I don't have any walking boards out there. I don't do it often. I don't walk on my soil often, but I think it's more important to get out here. So I've got a kid who doesn't weigh a ton. That's what I would suggest doing. Get it, boy. I don't know. I think it just helps. It is what it is. He's gonna have to have a knife, so why don't you get out of here and go get you a knife, and he'll come back and cut those out of there. Anyways, here's the line right here. So, 2356, 2261. It comes right here, the line comes here. 2356 is an absolute gorgeous plant. I mean, the leaves on this thing are insane. Every single one of them is insane. It's extremely healthy. Unfortunately, the pumpkin is extremely ugly. It's number six. Right there she is. Number six turned 20 days old yesterday, and it was big. It, its numbers were some of the biggest I've ever seen. So it's going to be fun to watch this girl grow because if it makes it to the end, it's going to be heavy. The, the thing I can tell is a tank. But, geez, um, she's got some ugly curves to her. So, we'll give you a good look at that. In the meantime, we'll kind of come over here and look at the plant itself. Very healthy. Very nice. We'll go look at the main vine. The main vine comes here. That's where I wanted to set one. I wanted to set one here. 
and then I tried to set a couple other ones and then uh, this ended up being a secondary so I'll kind of give you a look at the main vine first you can see it's up here coming right through there there's where she is once again nice and healthy got a fan on her blowing all 24 hours a day a couple of these leaves were a little sunburnt early on I'll probably remove that I've already removed a couple of leaves in there and a vine it just didn't look right so I got rid of that I don't mind doing removing some stuff as long as it keeps our main vine healthy so coming back here here it is this one here grows right up to there the secondary comes this way, it kind of curves around here, and it runs into there. That's the secondary vine off of the right side. I don't know, probably like, oh gosh, I'm going to say, let's see if I can count it real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Like the 15th or 16th secondary on the right side, something like that. It was way out there. So it comes right through here. The secondary then runs up that way. It shoots all of this growth out here. Uh, this is some um, secondary that's coming from right here. We got a couple of secondaries running right there and they run back that way. So this one here is the secondary growth with a bunch of third stage growth filling in the rest of the area. I'm filling in this area, that's it. Really, I mean, a lot of people leave that area open. So could it be completely terminated? Sure. You got all this growth over here, which is a secondary that comes off of here, and it grows over here, and we got it kind of curved forward right here. So all that growth is filled in. So there's nothing here to fill in, nothing here to fill in, nothing here to fill in. So we're looking at about 1,100 to 1,200 square foot of plant. So just to give you an idea, it comes back through there, right back there, back around here, clear over back there, and then back around here, so it's completely terminated. This plant grew extremely fast. I mean, I terminated the, the main vine right here and it still is already filled in at the 1st of July is what today is. So there's a look at the pumpkin, day 20. We're gonna find out if that girl grows. We're, we're gonna keep watching her. Hopefully she does. All right, everybody, good luck. Keep them growing.